Greetings, everyone. I'm Dusk, and this is the first dungeon in the game. I found Fantasy Fourteen. <laughs> Got me very specific. Pirates. Ah, I've been here a million times. Who am I kidding? Sastasha. What can I say about this place? These runs sometimes go on for a while, even though it's not that long of a place. Always got fun. I decided to do this again because uh, the hard mode's coming out, and just because I wasn't too happy with the first run, because I was, I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> I was new to the game at the time. Now I know everything. I know the gimmicks. I know the point of that uh, note. And also, most importantly, I know to keep my Garuda on obey. Because otherwise, it's going to use spam Shockwave sometimes, and that's annoying for a tank to deal with. Shockwave is not very useful at all. It's very detrimental to the tank. There's the memo. Let's check it. <laughs> Maybe I didn't pick the best time. A red. Call it red. Maybe I didn't pick the best time. That's okay. We have a scholar. And just like the summer, they also kind of cheat things out by uh, having their pet who they really shouldn't have if you're level synced. Because <laughs> you couldn't be a scholar by this point because that's level 30. <laughs> Although in Garuda's case, she's basically the same as the basic carbuncle you get. Basically, it's the same as Emerald. So many skills I can't use either now. This is like going back to the beginning when I first started playing. <laughs> you really don't learn a class, uh, learn the feel for a class until you get them to about 50. Because you don't have much you can do, not many actions I can take. Pretty much have to use Ruin. <laughs> no, I'd rather not, not my favorite move at all. Yeah, I'm jealous of Black Mages, they get fire. At least that can't, counts for the stacks and everything, and free cast, all that cool stuff. And it hurts. No fester, oh man. Fester is great. Not having it. Not so much. Look what this run's going good. Last time I attempted recording this, we had a tank who just left us. I know it's the first dungeon you're gonna run into issues like that. And the monk too. Maybe they left because Odin was up or something, but still, that kind of stinks. They should have said something. <laughs> this thing. Target the clam, because it's going to spawn more of these shade seekers. But when it closes itself. Uh, I don't know, what would you call it? The top part of it. When it closes the top part, it can't be hurt. When it clamps on down. So keep that in mind. Once it's invulnerable, you might as well target those Seekers. Moving at a pretty brisk pace, I like it. Well, it's because we got some item scene players with us quite clearly. <laughs> Level scene. Down to 18 from 50, in my case. Well, item level 105. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the balance, uh, the scaling is pretty accurate here, so I'm not particularly stronger than anyone else at this point. Yep, everyone knows what they're doing. Going for that clam. Man. 
run into some root tanks on this sometimes. One time when I was running a Tamtara hard mode, I had a tank. He demanded I turn Garuda off, even though Garuda was on obey and wasn't doing AoE. So that wasn't the problem. <laughs> like how could people not know that? If it was a, if it was on sick, it would be spamming shockwave and all this other stuff, and contagion, which really stinks. You don't want it spamming that. You want to use that. After like raging strikes and having all the strongest DOTs up. It's odd though how I started. I think yeah, first I started with Arcanist, and then I went to Bard, then I went back to Arcanist. <laughs> okay, it's clamped. There we go, now we can hurt it. Luckily, the way this game works, you can technically have a self class if you want. I mean, I like Barb, but it's just not as complex and doesn't take as much skill. It's hard to mess up Bard. Well, the Bards who don't ever play their songs when they're needed. <laughs> That's one way. Oh, crap's on me. Still on me, wow. This might be one opportunity where I should use Shockwave. But I'm not. Because the tank had it under control while I was getting healed. I mean, we've got EL, so we got the Scholar. A healing fairy, just in case you don't know. Oh man, Scholars get a lot of flat though sometimes. AFK Scholars. <laughs> Where people do that, they like set they set their character to follow the tank and just have their pet on obey. It's rough. It's really bad. It's really shameful when that happens. Oh, it's clamped down. Now it's going. Okay, it's already gone. I was having targeting issues there. I might adjust my controls at some point, too. I was thinking some of the letter keys, but won't that mess things up if I try to type? <laughs> Going for all of them? I guess we are. Ah, The bio didn't count. Now we're talking. I like Bio way better than Ruin. <laughs> That's just me, the sound effect. And how it's actually a classic Final Fantasy spell. I don't know, I hope when the, uh, when the expansion comes in, because there is an expansion coming. In case you haven't heard. In case you didn't see FanFest, which was amazing. I wish I would have gone. My brother lives in Vegas, I used to live over there. But fun I'd pass. If it's held there again, then I'll totally go in. Alright. Now at this point we gotta interact with the correct coral formation, which is red. As I called out in the party chat. Cause this is gonna spawn the boss. Well, eventually. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> There's the boss, Chopper. A Corel with a serious attitude. And the ability to paralyze him. Well, they all have that. Yeah, Charge Whisker, get out of that AoE. Real simple, though. It's about to go down. See, no problems. When I first came here, I was freaking out at everything, I think. <laughs> I 
I got surprised by everything. Uh, brings back good memories. I wonder what hard mode's gonna be like. Aside from the fact a certain mollusk is returning. Yes, that's the term. And maybe there's gonna be things to split the water levels. Oh man, imagine if they had something like the water temple. Oh god. Nah, there's not many puzzles in this game. Scary dog down. If in the situation though you're playing an Arcanist or Summoner, and the tank leaves, you can always have Titan tank. Titan or <laughs> Topaz Carbuncle. It's not great, but it's better than like abandoning the run if you got like deep in. And at least it can buy you time, you can accomplish things while you're waiting for an actual tank to come in. But once the actual tank comes in, get rid of that pet. So we'll get offended otherwise. I kid you not. That's understandable. It really does, the tank pet doesn't do anything for DPS. Oh man, with Scholar and freaking <laughs> Summoner. So many dots. I love it. Though I personally prefer to play White Mage because uh, the way the attribute points work with Scholar and Summoner, oh, it stinks. You kind of have to choose. Or buy a bunch of uh, reset tomes or whatever. Scholar wants mine, usually. But Summoner wants int. Well, sometimes you can mix and match. I don't do that, though. Pass. I don't need this. <laughs> Tank's taking all the goodies. It's like Christmas for him. It's not even Halloween yet, though. Come on now. Oh wait, I remember this part. This is where, uh, in my first run, I think the, the tank had an unfortunate accident. He aggroed too much. Yeah, that's what might have happened here. That's why he was so apprehensive. Because there's mobs on the other side of this too. I also was trying to get the Crystal Tower runs going today, or Labyrinth for the Ancients, I should say. And man, it is impossible to get in there now. Not many people play it anymore. <laughs> it stinks. It's a shame. So I want to do another attempt at it. Now that I know so much more and I've gotten used to it and been there hundreds of times. Why not hundreds? I'd hope not. Though I still never got one of the drops I needed, I wanted. But by that point, the second part was available, so I didn't need to go. Just move on and get the caster gear from Scylla. Oh, awesome. Or Soul Toad. On the scholar. The thing the scholar gets braced for, though, their damage is pretty dang good. They hurt. For healing class, they can hurt. Especially Koyak Sansa. And 
found that NPC saying something rather troubling. Yeah, these sh Shavaltoe guys are bad news. What's a good thing we're just mopping the floor of them? Couldn't happen to more deserving fellows. Although they might actually be pawns of something more dangerous at work here, you could say. Good stuff. Yeah, I really enjoyed Fan Festival though. That was pretty hype worthy. I did watch the stream. It was kind of annoying everyone's criticizing uh, Ashley when she tried to sing Ramu's theme. I mean, come on, dude. She's not used to that. And I'd like to see some of these complaining fans try to sing <laughs> live. With only like one rehearsal or day or something, or however much time she had, which wasn't a whole lot, when you've been in the studio the entire time. Hmm, Tank Guy has a plan. Gonna move them to the left side, okay. So, don't wanna get a trigger finger on any of my skills then. Until we just move them, I suppose. Alright. Well, maybe I better attack him. <laughs> I'm not exactly cooperating with his. Desire to move them. Ah, limit break Mars full. Typically, it's better to let the melee get it, but there's some dungeons which the caster can do it as well. Like Manor, for example, sometimes it's used a lot there. In this situation, better for the monk. Way more damage to a single target. What can virus this guy? <laughs> Why not? Those better try to time virus one, they're using like a AoE or something big. Let's just catch him ass and he doesn't do a whole lot. Except this. Calling in the scurvy dogs. A bunch of ads. I don't think they despawn when he dies. If I remember correctly. So you need to take care of him at some point. Whether you do with him first or the dogs, it's up to you. Man, he's going down. You should hit him a little bit. Hit him a lot. Yeah, see, so you still have to deal with the dog now. You know, he just ran out there like a coward. <laughs> Parlay. I think not. If we don't negotiate with pirates. Even if I'm from Limsa. Started in Limsa, not from Limsa. <laughs> I wasn't born in Limsa Lomensa. Uh oh. We pausing? Dang, we have had such a good pace too. Okay, good. He's won the shield. I suppose. Miss Beard Cove. Another name that's probably gonna be familiar coming back in the hard mode. I don't know if we're going for a full clear here or not, though. I should look at that levels. Oh, wow. These guys can still get experience. They're, just, they're getting something from this. I'm getting nothing. <laughs> Except a trip down memory lane. So while this isn't the best dungeon in the game, it's not bad for a starter one. I introduce you to some things. Gives it the feel fun. Well, above all else, it really does emphasize ads. You know, they added some of the mobs that come into play. Yeah, it looks like we're going for full. 
Because you can just avoid these guys. You don't have to mess with them. Actually, one people. Didn't we skip some guys back there? Okay, we did. Here's everyone's under control here. Oh, nice. Love up for the pugilist, not monk. <laughs> it's not yet a moment, but one day. At least everyone's got rather original names. Though I see a lot of people with the last name Tia. But it's not as bad as the Kirito's, the Uchiha's. Like seriously, does everyone have to be named after Sword Art of Mine? Come on, be original people. Be original. I don't think I've ever seen a One Piece name. <laughs> or you do Hawker Show, have I? I don't know. Oh, we're skipping that those guys over there though. They look very lonely. Share the DOTs. Share the fun. And here we are at the boss gate. The big purple thingy being the indicator. Guess I didn't say that. The boss ain't gonna like this one. Who is the boss, though? About to find out. Uh -oh. Off of his head. <laughs> off of his face. Not off of his head. This one. You see the unnatural ripples? Those are going to come into play very soon here. He's eating some food to get an experience boost. Not a bad idea. I don't know how he's gonna do this. By the way, I'm gonna try and control the ads. It's a good time to zoom with the camera. Well, maybe not. Because <laughs> there's gonna be messages. There we go. This is when you need to interact with these unnatural ripples when you see them bubbling like that. Otherwise, it's gonna summon an ad. Okay, good. Under control. Again. Okay, I'm gonna need to get these, and I'm gonna need to sprint over there and get those. Oh, he's got it. Okay. Cool. This time we're under control. Last time we just tried to burn the boss. Sometimes people do that. Burning is when you just destroy the boss and ignore mechanics. Typically. You got it? Okay, he's got it. I think it's under control. It's good we're taking this seriously. No, I think we've all been here before. No newcomers. Yeah, monk from the break? Any moment now, maybe. Yeah, there you go. Let's watch him. Boom. Down goes the boss. Nice face beat. That was a pretty good run. Pretty quick. Compared to how long... Usually this place takes like 30 minutes sometimes. We're on a bad run. <laughs> Command the tank. It's pretty good. Yeah. Gotta give him the good game. I know it's impersonal. He's a macro for that, but... It's translated just in case. 
Because the world doesn't revolve around English-speaking countries, you know? Sometimes it will be matched up with others. So, you know, try to communicate with them, get along, regardless. Anyways, now we go. Anyways, uh, later folks. Hopefully you enjoyed this. That's sign off, and have a good one.